Hello, hello. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda. Here's the kingdom. And we're right into a loading screen. Luckily, the loading screens are way faster in this game than they were in the last one. Way faster in this one. There we go. Yeah, you can already see. I like the sage symbol down in the corner, marking that I've gotten one of them. Courage to fall. Alright, I need to bring an orb. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Jesus. Okay, hang on. Let's see what's off to the left here. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Uh, hi, buddy. Shit. Run. Ah, uh, here we go. What's up this way? Secret? I like to avoid fighting the robots because like they didn't ask for this. Oh, he's sticking his thing through the wall, though. Uh oh. Come on. I have no qualm! No qualm! Although, I guess the ones in the shrines are definitely meant to be fought by whoever's going through the- You know what, if there's any run robots here justified in fighting, it's these ones. Because the ones on the Sky Islands, I feel too bad to fight, because they, they don't understand what's going on. These ones were put here specifically to be killed by the person doing the trial. Now that I really think about it, you know. All right. Um. Hang on. Was there anything else up this way? Nah. Ooh, hinting at a secret room. Ah, uh, hang on. I think I know how to get to that room. Courage to fall. Let's just be sure first. Yep. Now these ones I probably don't want to activate. Shit. Ugh, depth perception. Not my strong suit. Here, what do I get? What's my reward? Small key, okay. But then what's in the upper path over here then? What's up here? There? Interesting, interesting. Oh, hang on. Well, there's something above me right here. Secret room? Not secret room. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here. Come on, open up. Open up. Let me in. Or... Does anybody remember Orbeez? 
I feel like every kid who saw an Orby wanted to eat one. <laughs> Alright, let's ride up this. It was the Tide Pod effect before the Tide Pods, you know? Alright, uh... Oh shit, 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 shit. There we go. Alright, what do we get here? I, I got some fans and a glider. Now, what am I supposed to do with... Why are you expecting me to... What do you want? Oh, I see. It's a, okay. It's part of the shortcut to get this thing across. That's that's a fun setup. Hang on. All right, let's just. Yay! That was fun. And what I think the real thing there was showing me a way to make a very good quality flying machine. Alright. I, I, you know, I'd love to make a candy company called Forbidden Candy. Where, like, all the candy is made to, you know, look like Orbeez and Tide Pods and other things you want to eat but shouldn't eat. <laughs> that, that's, that's an uh, idea and a half right there. Forbidden Candy Candy Company. Alright, um... Freshly blown gla uh, glass design. <laughs> marbles. Bigger marbles. Alright, so we've done that shrine. Uh, now what we want to do... <laughs> that would make sense. It's too good of an idea for someone to have not done it already, you know? Hey, what are you looking for? Ah. Guess what? You know all those gar geoglyphs that appeared in upheaval? There's one right near- Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. It's very obvious. Thank you, though. No one's investigated yet since there's a giant monster with three heads prowling around it. Which means I've got an opening. I can solve the mystery of the geoglyphs before anyone else. Hmm, how will I get past the monster? Hmm. Uh, don't worry about that. I'll work out the details as I go. <laughs> Alright, let's... Yeet. Careful. So down this path, there's a cave with their tent and some monsters in it. Uh, there was some, the, the, uh, some girls said they needed help getting monsters out of their tent. Is this the one? Yep, there it is. Oh shit, it's not charged. There we go. Alright guys, fight each other. For my amusement. Oh, fuck me. That was a big hit. Not me, not me. Fight each other. Fight each other, not me. Auto build? What's that? Did you just reveal to me a power I get later on? You just told me about a power I get later on, don't you? Or didn't you? I'm not too upset, but I'm a little upset if that's what just happened there. Yeah. 
please try to be more coy when you ask me questions like that that could pertain to like spoiling things that come out. Oh, that's really cool. Alright. Let's do all these monster parts. Yeah, like I straight up had someone hop in chat a couple days ago and immediately... I... I... Even if you think you can get something early on, like, be careful, because this is an open world game. I might not have gone and done the thing. So, like, I... Th these are the abilities I have right here. I don't have any auto build power. Like, I've straight up had a similar situation with another game where I was playing an open world game. And somebody told me, like, oh, have you seen this thing yet? Like, they immediately told me a huge, huge ass spoiler thing. And I was like, no, I didn't know that. He's like, oh, it's the first thing I saw. I'm like, well, I didn't see it. Like, I'm not upset with you. I'm just like, I'm like, damn, I wish I had found that thing on my own. I've actually, I've barely explored the depth. I've been uh, mostly preoccupied running around doing other things. Oh, what are these again? Oh, yeah, spots marked on an old treasure map. No problem. Yeek. Just try, uh, try to be more careful when asking questions like that. Like, try... Like, a better thing would have been to ask, like, Oh, what powers have you unlocked? I'm right underneath the fairy fountain, aren't I? Yee. Like, that's a, that would have been a good way to word that question to avoid spoiling. Because then I would have been like, oh, but like, let me pop open my thing and show you all the runes I have, you know? And then you would have seen that I didn't have it yet. Without accidentally spoiling it for me. Again, not too mad. Not, I feel like I, I feel like the more I dwell on it, the more I, it sounds like I'm mad. I'm not mad, and I'm trying not to be a dick about it. <laughs> yeah, blooper Jim. I'll take the bomb flower, because those are very nice to have. And let's grab a couple more mushrooms for her. Uh, let's see if we can get... Yeah, I caught one. Sticky little leader. Careful, careful. Where's the exit? There it is. All right, let's go, Todd. So let's, uh, since we're right below the fairy fountain, let's pay that thing a visit as well. Ooh, hang on, there's bomb flower. The flowers there. All right. Careful. There we go. Yeah, like, the, the other day, I had a friend of mine, like, he was just like, oh, so, have you seen, and then immediately said a spoiler, and I was like, dude, like, you could tell he was, like, trying to be careful not to spoil a thing, but then, like, couldn't come up with a way to, to ask the question without just saying the thing he was referring to, and so he just said the thing he was referring to and spoiled the thing for me. The thing I'm not going to say yet for people watching at home who don't know the story yet, because I don't want to spoil things. But I was just like, come on, man. You couldn't, you couldn't have asked that in a more coy way. Like, every time I've talked to anybody about me playing this game, they've spoiled something for me, and I'm just like, ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, uh, great, great fairy. Great fairy of, of sexy butt. What, what, what do you wish of me? Away with you. I don't want to any anything to do with, with a, a world word by gloom and monsters. It's cramped in my flower bud, but the but better than the <clears throat> but better than out there. I'll keep my bless uh, blessings of clothing enhancement to myself. And let's hear the sound. Okay, so I still gotta put together the band. The sounds of a horn. Yes, I did a full playthrough of Breath of the Wild right before this. 
All right, so the golden horse is gonna be off in this direction near where that monster is. Let's just try and keep an eye out for it. That thing's insane looking, dude. That's uh, what is it called? And I, I, I took a picture of one earlier. Gliok, and that's a, yeah, that's an that's one of the bosses from Zelda One. So that's one hell of a fucking callback. Golden Horsey, where are you at, Golden Horsey? I'm very nervous because the Gliok's very close, but it hasn't spotted me yet. I'll bet yeah he's weak to fire. Let's wait for him to pass by close again and get him with this thing. Cause this'll hit him with a fucking shotgun blast, you know? Oh yeah, sorry, I'm actually gonna ask this of you, chat. Does this give a bigger attack bonus? Than this? Do you know if that's a thing? Because if not, I don't know why I would ever wear this over the Barbarian shirt. Let's put this on for just a boost in defense. Oh shit, it saw me. Why aren't you? Oh shit. Holy shit, he's strong. Dude, run, Link. Jesus fuck. Okay, uh, uh, food, 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 food. I didn't need to fight this thing, I just wanted to, you know? Alright, let's go with some good attack boosting food. Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep wearing this outfit. But I will eat this meal. Because now, that's two different attack buffs stacked right there. So I think that's the potential benefit it poses. Yeah. strongest weapon. Oh, hang on. Let's see to use this thing. No, Link, put your fucking... Okay, okay he knocked me over, but he didn't kill me. There we go. Oh, not what I meant to do. This thing is very strong. Shit, I keep accidentally hitting the B button. Why didn't the time slow down effect happen? That was some bull. Okay, um... 
Okay, here's what we're gonna do real fast. We're gonna... Yeah, actually, let's go with... I'm just trying to pick what I'm eating. This for the one extra heart it gives me. Let's, uh... You know, fuck it. If there's ever a time to use that, that was it. Here's what we're gonna do next. Barracuda eyes. Because these bitches are homing. Okay. Okay. This thing is uh, a lot stronger than I was expecting. And it'd take a lot longer than I thought it would. Okay, hang on, careful. Oh, fuck me. I walked right into one of the dice traps. That was bullshit right there. Dude. Kept stun locking me. That was kind of bullshit. Like, I'd freeze immediately, thaw out, or thaw out, and then immediately get hit again. Alright, where's it gonna bring me back to in the save? Because I, I don't think I'm going to attack it again if I am not immediately dropped in the fight. Yeah, yeah. I worry we're not going to fight that guy again. Because that thing is terrifying. We're just going to look for the golden horse. Uh, so, I hope you've all been enjoying this episode of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Come back next week and we'll go to the Geoglyph and hunt for the golden horse before heading back to the stable. Hope you've all been enjoying this episode, and love you all very much. Click the end cards to continue watching. Ta-ta for now.